For me, your man, Louis T, welcome to the 2018 NFL Draft Prospects 101 series, your guide to some of the biggest, hottest names of the 2018 NFL Draft. We're talking linebackers, and this was one of my most anticipated uh, positions to watch on tape because the hype surrounding the top two prospects at that position uh, were alarming. I mean, it's some of the biggest hype I've seen for this position in particular in quite some time. Generally, we're not talking about inside linebackers as top 10 prospects. You usually get those mid first round, late first round into the second round. Um, some of the best inside linebackers in the game right now, uh, guys that were drafted outside of the first round, like a Deion Jones, a second round pick by the Atlanta Falcons out of LSU. Uh, those are the types of guys that are coming into the league, okay? Nonetheless, uh, we haven't seen this type of hype at the linebacker position since, dare I say, Luke Keekley maybe was the last big time prospect at the inside linebacker position. I could be wrong, and there could have been one that came off the board two years ago, three years ago, but uh, I, I, a lot of times when you get this much hype surrounding uh, a couple of prospects, and then you turn on the tape, it doesn't necessarily match up to the hype. And again, beauty is all in the eye of the beholder. What one guy sees on tape with a player and is gushing over, another person turns it on and says, I, I don't see it, I don't get it. I, did I miss the joke? Did I? Did I? It's not, I don't get it. So um, with these two in particular, this one we're gonna talk about first, you see it. And, and if you don't see it, then I don't know what you're watching because what this guy brings to the table is so unique and in the package that in which he's bringing it is even more rare. And that's what makes this guy such an intriguing prospect as a top 10 potential pick. I'm talking about Virginia Tech linebacker, Tremaine Edmonds. We're gonna talk about why this guy's gonna be a top 10 pick in the 2018 NFL Draft and why his upside is through the roof. And we'll start by talking about his pros. So Mike Mayock called Tremaine Edmonds a unicorn. And what that essentially said, and Mike Mayock said, a unicorn, it's one of a kind. It's rare. I don't use that term because you don't hear that because almost like with anything on the internet, someone's already done it before. Like <laughs> there's not many things you can do on the internet and someone hasn't already thought of that or done it at least once. In the case of, tra and same thing with football. There's not like many guys that can come around. You can't say, wow, I've never seen a guy like that before because there's always someone that come before you that it looks like that, maybe didn't necessarily have the same skill set, but eh, we've seen something comparable. Tremaine Edmonds, it's debatable whether we've seen a guy with this kind of build at that particular position with this kind of skill set. So his measurables obviously are uh, the first pro at 6'4", 253. Now there's another guy with similar size, eerily similar size, but totally different skill set and athleticism uh, here with Tremaine Edmonds. Uh, 4 5 4 40 uh, in terms of speed, this guy can run, but the athleticism is, is off the charts, okay? This guy can move so fluidly out in space, flip his hips, change directions. Uh, this guy is an animal on the football field and he's only 19 years old. He's still a baby, he's a pup, okay? That's the scary part. That's what has probably so many NFL teams salivating and drooling over the prospects of getting this guy. He's still not done growing. He's still in the infant stages of growth in terms of knowledge of the game. There's so much to be gained by getting your hands on a player like this at such a young age. There's a lot of youthful exuberance here. This guy, to me, uh, is one of the top prospects of this draft. Closing speed is something that just jumps off the screen at you. And I call it OS, closing speed. And you know how you look to your left and there's uh, someone about five to 10 yards away and you, you turn back around and then you turn around and they're right there. You're like, oh shit, you come from back the hell up in my space. That's what I call Tremaine Edmonds closing speed. It's OS closing speed. Oh shit, closing speed. Shit, oh shit. How did you get from point A to point B that quickly? You blink and he's in your grill. I'll give you an example. They're playing against UVA. Their quarterback, Kirk Benkirk, rolls out of the pocket. He's looking to launch it down the field. And Tremaine Edmonds is sitting in his own coverage. And then all of a sudden he says, you know what, to hell with it. I'm gonna just take off and go. Much faster than slow. 
And before you could count to three, he was already in Kirk Benkirk's face. Kirk Benkirk was like, oh shit, where'd you come from? And he had to get rid of the football and he got blazed, okay? Lit him up, ran through Kirk Benkirk. That's what he brings to the table from a closing speed standpoint. The guy has sideline to sideline ability, covers so much ground in such a short amount of time. This guy, and with that size, you know, his steps eat up a ton of ground. This guy is outstanding um, from an athleticism standpoint. Redirect, all of that stuff. Just fluid change of direction in space. Uh, shed and slip blocks. Doesn't slip blocks as much as he does shed them. Um, he's a, a guy that wants to stack and shed, so he takes on blocks. So that's another pro, is that he's not shying away from contact. He's looking to blow up the guard. He's looking to blow up the center. He's looking to blow up the fullback, discard him, get to the running back. Uh, so he's a guy that is looking, and when he blitzes and he's coming up the A-gap, he's looking to blow up your running back and then get to the quarterback. Two for one special. He's not looking to run around, guys. He's not looking to try to ole any blockers. He's looking to inflict pain and then get to the ball carrier. So right now he's more adept at shedding blocks than he is slipping them. Um, but a lot of times he's just beating guys to the spot with just pure unadulterated athleticism and speed. He's just beating guys to the spot. And if he's one of these guys that if you keep him clean, he's a problem. He's Luke Keekley. He is Thomas Davis. You keep him clean. He's in your backfield. He's making plays. He's making a mess and a mockery of your offense. So he's one of those guys that even when he's not clean, he still can make plays. But if you keep him clean, he's a major, major problem a uh, tackling ability 35 tackles for loss and that's probably going to be the highest number you're going to find among the elite prospects at the linebacker position uh, just because he's always around the line of scrimmage some of these other guys like a roquan smith they're playing seven yards off the line of scrimmage uh kind of seeing and, and surveying the field seeing what's going on Tremaine Edmonds is right there on the line of scrimmage, literally a yard, yard and a half, two yards away from the line of scrimmage. He's mugging the A-gap. He's up around, blitzing. And so he's constantly around the action. So that gives him an opportunity to make plays on the other side of the line of scrimmage. It also helps when you've got the kind of explosiveness and athleticism that he has to be able to beat blockers to the point and get there and make a play, but also just having more opportunities gives him the ability. And again, he's not afraid. He shoots the gun. He sees what's going on and he fires off his shot. He's not sitting there waiting on his heels, waiting for a guy to come put a block on him. He's trying to go make a play. It's a gift and a curse. There's a detriment to that as well. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. But for the most part, he makes plays on the opposite side of the line of scrimmage. Four force fumbles uh, over the life of his career. Remember, this is a junior. So when you're talking about only three years of production, uh, 35 tackles for loss over a three year period, you're averaging over 11 and a half tackles for loss uh, per year. So that's outstanding for an inside linebacker. Then you throw in the four force fumbles over the life of his career, three of which came in 17. So he's starting to get a hang of wanting to get the football free. So that's another added benefit that you're getting from Tremaine Edmonds. Zone coverage, uh, Burst Miami, he's in zone coverage. Uh, the slot guy's running a slant. He identifies slant, identifies quarterback wanting to throw slant, breaks on the football, almost picks it off. Beautifully executed by Tremaine Edmonds. Again, only 19 and he's processing these types of things. You've got to love what this guy's doing and you've got to feel like he's only going to get better as time progresses. Uh, blitzing capabilities, 10 career sacks. This right here, this attribute here is probably what has me the most excited about uh, Tremaine Edmonds because to me, you don't get this out of inside linebackers, the ability to, to rush the passer. This guy offers you some juice off the edge. It reminds me so much of LeVar Arrington. Remember, LeVar Arrington, one of the most athletically gifted inside linebackers, but also, or outside linebackers, but really what separated him from the rest of the group was his ability to, on third downs, on obvious known passing situations, for the Redskins to just say, all right, go go get the quarterback and LeVar could go get you 10 sacks in any given season. I feel the same way about Tremaine Edmonds. Uh, he, he's got this thing where he turns parallel to the line of scrimmage. He turns sideways to the line of scrimmage and he's going after the quarterback. And I'm telling you right now, it's a thing of beauty. Tight ends don't want any part of this guy in the past game. I saw him destroy about three or four tight ends with just pure speed off the edge. He doesn't know what he's doing. He didn't have any rush plan or any rush moves for that matter. He's just beating guys with pure, pure unadulterated explosion off the edge. 
And if this guy were to get with a coach, you learn some hand usage, learn a couple of moves, just a couple of uh, moves off of the fastball, like, like a spin move, like a hard outside, back inside. This guy could be lethal on third and seven, third and eight. Just saying, look, first and second down, we want you at inside linebacker. But on third downs, when we know that their other team's going to pass football, we're going to send you after the quarterback. We're turning the dogs loose. That's what's got me most excited about Tremaine Edmonds is that this guy can get you 100 tackles in a season and still get you nine and a half sacks. That's scary, and you don't see that in this league, but that's what this guy could provide for you um, as a dual threat player at inside linebacker with still the ability to rush off the edge. That's what's got me most excited about Tremaine Edmonds, why I think he's a surefire top 10 pick in this year's draft range, okay? Um, you saw it against Miami. They run a zone run to the outside, and he comes from his inside linebacker position, runs it all the way to the, the sideline, and destroys the running back. Um, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's what you're looking for. If they want to stretch it out, you got to go out there and get him. You string the play out, and, and your linebacker meets him at the line of scrimmage as he's trying to turn the corner. Uh-uh. Not on my watch. No, not today, in the words of the Kembe Matumbo. They run a toss and UVA runs a toss against uh, Virginia Tech, and he's just not having it. He is able to sort through all the garbage, get to the outside, and blow up that run for about a, a loss of one. So uh, this is a guy that um, sideline to sideline speed exhibits the ability to go and get ball carriers no matter where they are on the field. Again, you keep this guy clean, you're going to see huge dividends paid off by keeping this guy upright. Um, on the football field. So those are all the pros. And to me, they are overwhelmingly good. Uh, there are a couple of cons, but man, are these some really feeble cons, ones that are easily correctable and really simply just need time to fix. So let's go to Tremaine Edmonds and his cons. Really, his biggest con is awareness. Um, Man coverage is another con here, but it's not really that bad. It's just a lack of awareness. And so I'll give you some examples against Clemson. All right. <laughs> Clemson did a really good job and they, they do this in, in general, but Clemson did a really good job of giving him eye candy. You know, Tremaine Edmonds is greedy. He wants to eat. And so they started doing all of these different shifts and they, they got a, a crosser going this way, a crosser going that way. And he's looking around like, man, there's a donut. God damn, there's some ice cream. What do I do? What do I eat first? And his guy's in the backfield and it's just broccoli. And he's like, I don't want that. I want the donut. I want the Neapolitan ice cream. I, I want to eat that stuff. I want dessert. And no, you, your job is in the backfield. You got broccoli back there. Go eat that. And so he's looking at the crossing route. He's going to go with that one. He's going to go with this one. He hesitates. And then the running back, who's his responsibility in man-to-man -man coverage, leaks out of the backfield into the flats. No one's covering him. And all of a sudden, it's a race to the end zone. 60 yards later, it's a touchdown. And that's Tremaine Edmonds' guy in blown coverage. Simple awareness. Just not knowing and not just honoring your responsibility. Being greedy. Wanting to eat and do other things. Got to do your job first. Um, against... Um, Miami, there's a screen, all right? It's a delay. So uh, the, the running back's in blocking, all right? But then he realizes, I'm not needed here. I'm going to leak out. And it's a little bit of a screen. So it's a delay screen sort of um, set up. And Tremaine Edmonds says, well, that's my guy in man-to-man -man coverage, but he's not coming out. So I'm going after the quarterback. Zone dog blitz. Green dog. I'm going. And then the running back says, gotcha. And he comes out. They throw him the football. Takes off for about a 20-yard game. That's Tremaine Edmonds' guy. So again, um, he fell asleep behind the wheel in man coverage against Clemson, but then late in the pit game, a game that was a beautiful game to watch, especially down the stretch. Pitt gets all the way down to the one yard line, first and goal from the one, no timeouts with about 25 seconds left and they can't get in. Goal line stop, wins the football game 20 to 14. So uh, that was a fun one to watch, but um, late in that ball game, they try to test Tremaine Edmonds on a wheel route up the sideline. He's having none of it. So he can give you some really good man-to-man -man coverage. It's all about awareness for Tremaine Edmonds. And again, he's 19. He'll figure that stuff out. He'll get better in, in his responsibilities and principles. 
I have no doubts in my mind that this guy is a top tier prospect in the 2018 NFL Draft. One of the most excited uh, prospects, exciting prospects I've seen in 2018. I, I, I'm really going to be following this guy closely because I think he's got the ability to change the game at, at the next level. And so anxious to see where he ends up. Uh, really excited about Tremaine Edmonds and his prospects at the next level. But that's Tremaine Edmonds in a nutshell. Uh, the guy's 19 and the only issue right now is awareness. Is he's just got to learn the game. He's a little raw, rough around the edges. Dude is an athletic freak though. Can't wait to see where he ends up. But if you want to see the score I gave Tremaine Edmonds and some of the scores of his peers, check out the website louisetnetwork.net uh, for more where that came from. Remember, we're changing the game over here, period. And uh, the draft is upon us. A lot more where that came from. So keep checking the Louis T Network for more content. Make sure you like this video, share it, and subscribe to the Louis T Network for more videos. Remember, draft wrap-up series coming your way soon. So stay tuned to the Louis T Network. I'm your man, Louis T. See you next time.